What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today is a very exciting video because today I'm going to be talking about 51 facts about UC Berkeley. And so at Berkeley, I was a tour guide also known as campus ambassador all four years of college. So these facts are basically ingrained into my brain. So if you like memorize any of these facts or know any of them, you can impress your friends at parties. Definitely comment down below any more fun facts about UC Berkeley that you have. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Rachel. I graduated from Berkeley in May 2020 where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies. And now currently I am working full-time at a law firm. And so if you are a student applying to colleges this cycle, you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. It's a team of myself and other UC Berkeley students where we specialize in reviewing college application essays and consulting one-on-one -on -one with students and parents. So definitely check out our website and social medias. On our website we have a blog where we post weekly advice and on our social medias we also post a ton of tips and tricks. Let's get into these 51 facts about about UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley was founded in 1868 when President Abraham Lincoln signed the Morrill Land Grant. Berkeley is the first school in the University of California public school system. Referred to as UC Berkeley, Berkeley, and Cal, students do not call it UCB. As the first UC, Berkeley gets the Cal logo versus every other UC public school is called by their full name. Berkeley's motto is Fiat Lux, which means let there be light. Campus colors are blue and gold. Blue for the California sky and ocean and for the Yale graduates who helped establish the university. Gold for the Golden State. Our mascot is the golden bear. Our mascot's name is Oski. Originally, real live bear cubs served as the mascots, but nowadays that is not the case. On campus, we have a ton of bear statues with a total of 27 bear statues. Can you find them all? We are a top public university. Depending on what rankings you are looking at, we are ranked as the number one public university worldwide. We have 31 Nobel Prizes held by alumni. With the Olympics, we have 117 Olympic gold medals won by students and alumni, 51 silver, and 39 bronze. There are 13 million book volumes in the UC Berkeley libraries. We have 27 libraries all throughout campus, so there's always a place you can study. We have an underground library that is a football field and a half long and five stories deep. You can check out a tour of this library on my channel. We are the number one producer of Peace Corps volunteers. The Hayward Fault runs directly through Berkeley's California Memorial Stadium, which is the football stadium on campus. When I took an earthquakes class, they said the Hayward Fault was due for an earthquake soon. Check out that video on my channel. Wheeler Hall is the location of the largest lecture hall on Berkeley's campus, which seats 732 students. The Campanile, also known as Sather Tower, is the third tallest clock and bell tower in the world at 307 feet tall. You can go to the top of the Campanile and there is a 360 degree observation deck where you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. The bells at the top of the Campanile are called the Carillon. There are three daily Carillon concerts, once at 7.50 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. Sometimes they play fun pieces like the Office theme song, Game of Thrones theme song, or music that fits whatever holiday it is, like Halloween-themed music around Halloween. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge from campus. 
Moving into some superstitions, if you roll down 4.0 hill during your orientation, then you will get a 4.0 GPA your first semester at college. If you step on 4.0 seal while you're at Berkeley, you will never get a 4.0 GPA. Rubbing 4.0 ball in front of the Campanile is considered good luck. Also a superstition, if you step on the 4.0 seal, you can run up to the 4.0 ball and kiss it to reverse stepping on the seal. The gold nugget found at Bancroft Library is said to be the piece of gold that set off the California Gold Rush. The free speech movement started at Berkeley in 1964. During the free speech movement, students chained the doors to the building where the chancellor was located. Afterwards, each door at Berkeley only has one door handle to prevent the chaining of doors. South Hall is the oldest building on campus. Built in 1873, it is the only remaining building of the original Berkeley campus. The Victory Cannon appears at all home football games. The cannon is fired at the beginning of each home football game, after each score, and after each victory. Card stunts are a tradition at football games during the halftime show. The big game is the annual football game between UC Berkeley and Stanford. First played in 1892, it is one of the oldest rivalries in the United States. The longest winning streak for the big game is nine years, and it is held by Stanford. Berkeley won the big game in 2019, ending that nine-year winning streak by Stanford, or Berkeley's nine-year losing streak, depending on how you look at it. Stanford won the most recent big game in 2020. The play is very famous. Stanford took a 20-19 lead on a field goal with four seconds left. The Golden Bears used five lateral passes on the ensuing kickoff return to score the winning touchdown and earn a 25-20 victory. Believing that the game was over, members of the Stanford band came onto the field midway through the return, which added to the confusion and folklore. The band is out on the field! He's going to go into the end zone! He's going into the end zone! The band have won! The band have won! The bonfire rally is a spirit event that occurs before the big game to hype up students, alumni, and fans before the game versus Stanford. During RRR week, also known as Dead Week, which is the week before finals, a naked run occurs where students run naked through the libraries. Parts of the movie Monsters University are based off of UC Berkeley's campus, Pixar Animation Studios, who made Monsters University, is located right down the street from Berkeley in Emeryville. Part of Ant-Man and the Wasp was filmed on Berkeley's campus. Jennifer Doudna works at UC Berkeley and is known for her pioneering work in the CRISPR gene editing. UC Berkeley scientists and researchers discovered 16 periodic table elements more than any other university in the world, including Berkeleyum and Californium. Glenn Seaborg was an educator and researcher scientist at Berkeley and was the principal or co-discoverer of 10 periodic table elements. He also has an element named after him, Seaborgium. Gilbert Lewis was a dean of the College of Chemistry at UC Berkeley, where he is most known for his discovery of covalent bonds and his concept of electron pairs. He also introduced the Lewis dot structure diagram that you all may have used in your high school chemistry classes. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, graduated from Berkeley in 1987. A few years ago, he was seen on campus at a restaurant called Top Dog, which sells like $3 hot dogs. Brian Maxwell graduated from Berkeley in 1975, and he later invented the power bar. In 1967, Ted Kaczynski, also known as the Unabomber, became the youngest assistant professor in the history of UC Berkeley, where he taught mathematics. And lastly, we like to say, go bears to everyone. So go bears. Mm -hmm.